Okay, so here we are. Uh, I'm going to adjust the output of our video here. I'll we'll do a 1280 by 720. See the um, it auto updates. You know the camera safe frame. Like that. Uh, it'll be 400 by 225 maybe. Yeah, all right. Just so we don't have to sit through long renders. Yikes. You want to make sure. Oh, where are you? You want camera. Lock that. And render again. And you know what else? We forgot to make the bump map. I mean, we don't we don't actually make anything. I just take the uh, flag, and I just drop it as a bump. See, bump is here. We just take that and... All right. Drag that down the bump. We can see how it affects it. See, without... And with... All right, so that'll be that. All right, camera shake. What to do is you want to have your point, or your better than dummy dummy selected. Grab your curve editor up here. I think uh, you could also get to it by right clicking on the object. We're not gonna do that. Camtasia uh, freaks out my system for some reason. I have trouble right clicking and with the menus there. So you see uh the point is already highlighted right you want to take position right click that uh, assign controller noise position you get this funky dialog box and uh, all these little patterns now what you want to do is you want to look and see how violent it is in your viewport. And just hit play. It's pretty violent. Okay, hold on. Let me isolate this. I'm just going to grab the pole, the point, and the camera. Hit Alt, Q, and that solos everything. So now we really get to see it move. That's really fast. So what you want to do is turn down the frequency. I'm going to try point zero five, And let's see that again. See, even that's a little violent. Point zero two five, Cut that in half. That might be about right. Okay, good. So don't close this. I mean, you can if you want. We can always get back to it. I just minimize it for now until we get things right. I want to take the uh, the focal point of the camera, or you can take both, and just link it to that. And you can see what's going on here. A little violent still. Uh, we can animate these, which is what I'm gonna do, I guess. First, I'm gonna make it a. Uh, As it zooms out, I'm gonna I'm gonna decrease that. I was gonna say lower. I'll decrease the value of that. So it starts to zoom out at a. I don't know where the hell does it start to zoom out at. Fifty. Uh, 
so at 50 we'll set a keyframe Zooms all the way out, I think, at 150. And we'll set that to 20, I guess. And we'll give that a preview. We'll see what that looks like. Still pretty bumpy afterwards. Uh. Let's try ten. looks good. I'll leave it like that. What I want to do is, uh, I'm going to move the camera out a little bit also because it's cutting off some of the, the stuff that you guys liked in the video. That's how you do a brief camera shake. I'm not going to take the time now to make it look really good, but you guys now have the tools to experiment and uh, try to make it look good yourself. A little extra tip if you want to bring up your thing, hitting that button, render setup dialog here. Uh, to get it on YouTube in high def, well, you want to use the you want to use the uh, okay. I collect my thoughts here. Active zero to three hundred. That's correct. What you want to do is you want to set it at twelve eighty by seven twenty. All right. File. Flag. You want to set it as an MOV. Uh, flag underscore underscore results. Enter. When that pops up, you want to make sure it's at an H.264. Alright, that's the high def setting best quality click OK and all you would do then is just hit render now and you will render that out uh, again maybe I'll see if I can uh, uh, this is what it should look like when it's done obviously the one that I already rendered out is not gonna be the same exact thing but I used only the same stuff in this tutorial as I did in the video you're about to see or maybe you won't see it whatever quick time for some reason always opens real slow on my computer so whatever you got the basic uh, idea and the tools now to do it for yourself you can do whatever flag you want uh, for the other tutorials I promise they're still coming you know tank treads uh, whatever else You'll see me when you see me. I'm working on a video game now that is, um, I'm going to have to figure out Tank Tread, so that one's definitely coming. 
later. And I hope everyone enjoyed all the stuff here. Remember, knowledge should be shared, not kept secretive.